Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This exquisite Lincoln Sand fetched the sum of over half a million dollars in 2023 at Great Collections Auction. The famous 1969S Lincoln Sand was double die of birth, CEC proven condition rarity in MS66 red condition. The 1969S Sand double die of birth is highly sought after variety of the Lincoln Sand. It is known for its explicit doubling on the verse side of the coin. The doubling occurs from mistakes in the die hubbing process, causing certain elements to appear slightly shifted or duplicated. Coins with the 1969 cent double die verse in MS66 condition is considered extremely rare. This is the sole finest specimen reported by PCGS with wonderful eye appeal, sharp stripe, and overall nice condition. It was sold for $601,875 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1916 Lincoln Cent in PR66 Plus red and brown condition, mud proof issue. This last year example of the Lincoln mud proof was issued in far smaller quantities than previously sold, according to Kevin Flynn's Lincoln Cent mud proof preference. Although the guidebook gives a mintage of 1050 pieces, Flynn has traced three deliveries of 200 coins each for a total of 60 proofs in all. Interestingly, none of the other new designs introduced in the pivotal year of US coinage, the Mercury Dime Standing Liberty Quarter or Walking Liberty Half, was struck in proof format adding to the allure of the mud proof Lincolns and Buffalo Nickels dated 1916. This example is from the die pair 2 as described in Flynn. Sold for $30,550 at Heritage Auctions. Another superb gem was exceptional strike and condition. 1923 S cent in MS65 red condition. Thanks to widespread hoarding of circulated coins during 1940s and 1950s, the 1923S is more plentiful in the lowest numismatic grades than a relatively limited mintage of 8,700,000 pieces might imply. High-grade examples in very fine to about uncirculated range are scarce. However, while in mean states, this issue ranges from scarce to rare, depending upon striking quality and surface preservation. Given that most uncirculated survivors are poorly struck from worn dyes with lackluster surfaces, the remarkable MS65 red offered here, the remarkable MS65 red shown here is decidedly in the latter category. The reverse is actually sharply defined throughout, indicative of a strike from a fresh dye, and both sides poses outstanding luster in warm medium rose shade. It was sold for $28,800 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1943 penny struck on a silver dime planchette circulated sand in extremely fine 40 condition. In 1943, the mint struck sands on zinc coated steel planchette, so it is easy to see how similarly sized, similar color silver dime planchette would have been unnoticed if it fell in with the steel sand planchettes prior to coinage. This silver sand is well centered and well detailed with light wear over slate gray surfaces. The left hand rims are absent due to smaller diameter of the dime planchette. Sold for $10,800 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1955 Lincoln sand with double diverse graded in MS63 brown by NGC. Satiny luminous mint gloss adorns each side of this brown example with rich lavender and burgundy hues emerging from the fields. The strike is sharp and the overall preservation is exceptional for the MS63 grade, exceeding expectations of eye appeal, an important guidebook variety, which was sold on May 16, 2023 for $2760 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1919 Lincoln Sand in MS68 red condition. Golden orange reddish rose and pale gold colors are seen over both sides of this vivid and beautiful superb gem. Fully struck with exceptionally frosty luster that borders on pristine. This exquisite superb gem was bargained for $8400 at Stax Powers auction. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button.